Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio. Please come check out the studio the next time you're in town. And don't forget you can order my book as well as t-shirts for Yoga for Healthy Aging on my website. And as, at that same site you can find amazing information about upcoming workshops and retreats and international yoga travel like the trip that Melina Mace and I are going to lead to Morocco in October of 2020. So be sure to check that out and think about joining us for that. You can also find longer video practices on the practice channel at the website yogauonline.com. I have something like 27 videos available on their practice channel. Um, and you can try that out for a month for like 99 cents. It's a pretty good deal. So today I'm excited to share with you the third and final uh, video in a series of videos involving the drumstick and uh, dynamic bridge pose. Uh, this is um, uh, called a uh, double dynamic bridge pose because you're going to do bridge pose twice um, uh, but each time the stick is going to be in a different place. So we're going to do the overhead bridge and then we're going to make this interesting transition and we're going to bring the stick down underneath the body when we take the hips up into more of the traditional shape of bridge. So the transition is a little tricky. You may have to cheat and release the clasp of the stick in one hand to bring it underneath you or above the legs. You'll see what I mean in just a moment, but be playful with that. Don't get too caught up in that and be creative. If you need to try something else out to make it happen, then do that. So without further ado, let's look at double bridge pose with the drumstick. So we're gonna start, as always, in constructive rest position. And we're gonna go ahead and have the stick up by the front of the legs. I'm holding on near the end so I can hold it easily. And I'll, I'll let you decide if you wanna pull out or squeeze in. Um, but you may find that going overhead, it's easier to squeeze in and taking the stick underneath you, it's easier to pull out. So keep that in mind as we're going through this series. So on your inhale, we're gonna lift the hips up on an in-breath as you come into your first bridge. And then as you exhale your butt down, you're gonna tip your knees up, your head up, and bring the stick beyond your feet and down near your buttocks. Your feet drop down, and then on your inhale, you're gonna lift up again into bridge. Good, on the exhale, you reverse that process. Stick goes overhead. As you inhale, lift up into bridge, and then exhale, Take it around the feet and down, and inhale, lift up into bridge. So the exhale is always the transition. Head comes up, stick comes around. The inhale is always the bridge. Exhale, inhale, exhaling, and inhale. So you may find that you have to release the stick and just bring it around behind you, going in, and that may also be true when you come out. You just kind of Go through the motions just so you get the rhythm down, but the full movement is around the feet, inhale lifting up, exhale, and inhale lifting up. And then finally coming down, let the stick come to the front of the thighs, take a moment to take a breath or two here, and then roll to one side. So the other thing to keep in mind as you're doing that is to be mindful that when you roll up to move the stick around that you're being very gentle on the lower back. You're not trying to jam the back into the floor. So be, be, be mindful of that as well as you go through this interesting uh, double bridge with drumstick practice today. I hope you have some fun with that in your home practice and you'll probably build a little bit of heat and notice that it's actually quite an active little sequence. So please also continue to follow me on Facebook and on YouTube at Baxter Bell Yoga. I have a lot of other things I offer in, in, in addition to these um, videos, including some great links to interesting articles, as well as weekly poems to share with you that you might share with your classes if you're a yoga teacher. So until the next time, thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.